And weeks after 17 military personnel were killed in an attack in Okuamar Delta State, Governor Sharif Oborowari has visited the community, promising the safe return of the indigenous who fled the community after the act. The governor, accompanied by some government officials, reiterated that innocent citizens will not be made to suffer for what they know nothing about. Commanding officer of 181 Army Amphibious Battalion, two majors, one captain and 13 soldiers were ambushed and killed in March, an attack which drew widespread outrage and condemnation. It led to a manhunt that stretched from Delta State to Bielsa with several people declared wanted by the military. A coma where the murders took place had been inaccessible for weeks as the military and security operative worked to fish out those behind their acts. Imagine where 17 army personnel were murdered. It's a process just five, five weeks ago. So it's, it's, a, it's a process. We are following the process. In that process, we are healing the wound. Because also, too, they are so very bitter. The army is so very bitter. So we will manage them. There's, there's always a, a play. So you can see that even the army, the, the king who actually went and uh, uh, submitted himself to the police and later to the army, they have been released yesterday. So you can see part of the... the people will not know what's on guard, what we have been doing. What we just need to do, why I have come here to see, and to see how the people, the innocent people can be located back to the completion of the unity. You know, it's very painful for this great loss. And, uh, you know, you have to follow the process. And that's what we are following. And, uh, you can see today, even the brigade commander came with us to this very place. The, the new posted, uh, um, the commanding officer of 181, you know, the one was murdered. The new one, left back on it, Dabo is also here with us today. So you can see we have synergy between government and security agencies. Mr. President, the Chief of Army Staff, assure that no innocent person will be victimized. So the process of relocating them back is on the second process. We're on it already. We're on it already. We'll bring them back. We are, we are talking with the military. So it's not a day job. So we are working seriously. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.